guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Darcia, and today I am bringing you guys a very stupid video. It's not really stupid, but it kind of is because it doesn't really make sense unless you are a girl or you are, well, not a girl, but you wear makeup. So, um, today's video is a no makeup makeup routine. I know it sounds weird, but it's it makes sense to me and to everybody else that watches my videos because it was highly requested in my last vlog. Give me a sec, I need to moisturize. Okay, so pretty much a make no makeup makeup routine for me is no foundation at all, really nice clear moisturized skin and just the bare, the minimum, the minimum, no concealer, no foundation. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Just a disclaimer, this look works really well if you have good skin. I'm not saying that if you have bad skin, it's gonna look bad. That's not what I'm saying. If you have stuff you wanna hide, you can add to this makeup tutorial. You can add whatever you want to it. But honestly, you guys have been begging me for a skincare routine and I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say than it's genetics. It's literally genetics. It's in my DNA. My whole family, we have good skin, clear skin, healthy skin. Um, the occasional breakout during Shark Week and I don't want to sound insensitive and like mean and like I don't care about people that do have actual like skin issues it's just I don't know what to tell you guys to do when I've never experienced it myself so I don't want to just be like this worked wonders on my skin it's really nice it did this it changed my whole it's not true because I am born with this skin. It's an evil world we live in. I'm gonna do a skincare routine. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna show you guys how I maintain my skin, how I take care of my skin, and make sure that you know um, I'm not all dry and crusty out in these streets. That's just what it is. I I don't know what to tell you. I feel so bad saying this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, let's just get started with the video. I tried going to something else after I finished my first bottle. I've been using this moisturizer um, since I would say Christmas this year. I went to the VIB sale at Sephora and I used this moisturizer. I finished the bottle. I finished the bottle quite quickly because everyone in my family has been like sneaking into my room and using it. Jimmy was using it. Everybody, so I bought another bottle. So this moisturizer is really nice for dry skin. I feel like it's thick enough, but not too thick where you, you know, you feel like your face is all slippery and slidey. It does dry really nicely on the skin. If you guys wanna know, I do have dry skin, lizard skin, like crocodile, all the reptiles in the world. I am part reptile. And I do have dark circles, which I was quite insecure about, especially after high school. I don't know why. Um, next, I'm going to go into the Pearl Essence Rose Hip Oil. This is a balancing facial oil. I just like this product because it does give like a nice glow to the face. I don't put too much because you do look like really greasy if you put too much. But this is what I put on because I won't be wearing make wearing any face makeup. So that just brings a little glow to the skin. Next, I'm gonna go into the Ardell Professional Brow Building Fiber Gel in Dark Brown. There's not much left anymore. I think I'm gonna get the Benefit one, but all I do is just clean up my brows. I just don't want my brows to look all like messed up and I want them to stay in a nice shape all day since we're not gonna be adding any product. And just letting you guys know, since I'm talking right now, this video is like quite long, but this takes me like five minutes, like five minutes. We're almost done actually. So um, to open up my eyes, I do apply falsies, but I really apply like basic, like most basic is falsies ever. I do it sometimes, sometimes I don't do it. Um, I'm gonna do it for the sake of this video. Yeah, so I use the number 11 lashes by Kiss. These are super natural on me. On some people, they're quite dramatic, like on my mom. These are her going out lashes. On me, they just look like a better version of my lashes, I feel. Um, they, they're not, they're really, really natural on me. So these are the ones I use. You can get these at Walmart. All right, so lashes are on. Like I said before, they do look quite natural on me. They kind of look like lash extensions, like the basic natural kind. I just use these to make it a little more glamorous, but you know, natural glamorous. <laughs> 
Next, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner. This liquid liner is in the color black brown. I use these to recreate my moles. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but I have a couple moles on my... There's hair on my face. On There's a couple moles on my skin. Um, I like to draw over them just so they can be a little more prominent because they're quite light. I have one right here, one on my chin right here, I have one on top of my lip, on my nose up here, I have like none here. I have a big one here that shows a lot, one under my brow, and I have one on my nose right here, but I'm not going to be drawing over that one. Because that's just going to make me look like a witch, and that's not the look that we're going for today. Um, in a couple months, maybe, you know, Halloween. I like this eyeliner because it is a felt tip liner. It's really good. And it's the perfect brown to make it look like it is my actual... Well, they are my moles. I'm just drawing over them. I literally just want them to show up a little more. Also, if you do have a couple bumps on your skin, you can do that too to um, camouflage them. Just so everything can be a little more symmetric, I'm just going to, you know, add some on this side. I have more on this side of my face. I don't know if they're actually showing up on camera, but yeah. Then to add a tiny bit more glow, um, it's not necessary at all. I'm going to apply highlighter, but not too much. That's why I'm using a fluffier brush. This brush came in a highlight kit by Hard Candy. You can get the highlight kit from Walmart. So I just like this brush a lot. This is really fluffy. It gives it a little more of a natural highlight more than just having like a beaming streak on the side of your face. So the highlighter I'll be going into is the Golden Flower Crown Highlighter by Wet n Wild. Change of plans because I don't want to use something too light. I'm going to go into the Hustle and Glow Loose Hider. Hider. Loose Highlighter by Wet n Wild. This is a little closer to my skin tone. I'm going to use whatever is in the cap just so I don't have too much product and just apply a tiny bit of highlighter. I'm going to set my face just so everything can set and stay in place. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX Setting Spray. And you can prime, you can set, and you can refresh your makeup using this. I like this setting spray because it is made with coconut water and you guys already know that coconut water is very hydrating for the skin and you know your girl is a dry ass crusty ass bitch. Yeah. Last step is my lips. I either put on a nude gloss or my Laneige lip sleeping mask but today I'm going to go into the Laneige lip sleeping mask. So that is it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the finished look. Um, I like it. It's slowly but surely becoming my everyday makeup routine. Very easy for girls that go to school, that work, and even for like everyday stuff. You can still go out to eat and stuff, you know? Just non-special occasions. These are the looks that I like to do. So I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.